Hey, it's Tyler from ActiveBeat. Today, I'm going to be talking about chamomile essential oils, where it comes from, how it's used, what people use it for, and more. If you've used chamomile essential oils, or other oils for that matter, we'd love to hear what you think. So don't forget to add your voice in the comments. All right, let's dig into chamomile. So what is it and where does it come from? So chamomile is a daisy-like plant that has been and is still used for all kinds of medicinal purposes. Of course, you've also got chamomile tea, which has lots of great health benefits as well, including acting as a sleep aid, fighting off colds, and helping you de-stress. We'll definitely see some overlap between chamomile tea and oil of chamomile. So let's dig into the popular uses of chamomile oil. Aromatically, people use oil of chamomile largely for its calming and de-stressing effects. Some people find that, like chamomile tea, the oil of chamomile can help you better fall asleep. Other uses, although not proven scientifically to help, might include aiding bug bites, reducing sciatica, skin care, and more. Chamomile has been found to offer some health benefits, such as anti-inflammatory properties thanks to several of its chemical constituents. Research has also revealed that there is level B evidence that chamomile has anti-anxiety properties. Now, level B evidence means that there is at least fair evidence that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of the subject matter. That also means that if you use chamomile for anti-anxiety, you are still doing so at your own risk. As for chamomile essential oil, specifically, it appears to have antimicrobial effects, especially with some gram-positive bacteria. So how is it commonly used? Chamomile is largely used aromatically, but some people do use it topically and ingest it as well. Remember, essential oils are very strong, so use at your own risk. Chamomile can also be sensitive to young children. Diffusing chamomile can act as a great de-stressor and many people also use it as a sleep aid. Just make sure that if you're using a candle-based diffuser that you don't fall asleep with a candle lit. And that's oil of chamomile. We want to hear your experiences with it, so don't forget to join the conversation in the comments. Let us know if it works for you. If you're enjoying our series on essential oils, let us know by subscribing and sharing. Next week, we'll be talking about ginger essential oils. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.